Governor Larry Hogan supports Baltimore City's bid to get Amazon to build a second headquarters at the Port Covington site. He says he will personally lobby Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos to make it happen. I happen to believe that uh, uh, this is the best uh, of the sites that I've seen and that uh, Baltimore City uh, really could use the shot in the arm more than anywhere else. The Seattle retail giant set off a bidding war last week, announcing it's looking for a place to locate a second headquarters. The winner gets 50,000 jobs and a $5 billion investment. Amazon is interested in an urban campus, eventually building an 8.1 million square foot facility. To get 50,000 jobs, it's certainly worth the uh, state investing in some, uh, you know, some improvements to uh, transportation in the, in the area of the project. Port Covington site is being redeveloped by Sagamore. Its $5 billion project includes a new global headquarters for Under Armour. And that's why I think it's really important that all of our state's leaders agree to focus just on Port Covington. That will really send a message to Amazon. And Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz, who is said to be considering a run for governor, isn't ruling out shipping in some incentives. If we can identify that there is a, a benefit to both Baltimore County and the region, we'll certainly consider that. This is such a game changer, and it's obviously helping Baltimore City, but it will help the entire region and the state. So, of course, it's worthy of an investment if it's the right return on investment. Speaking of investment, Goldman Sachs announcing it intends to invest $233 million of their own money into the Port Covington project, most believe strengthens the pitch to Amazon. So. I think that Baltimore has a great shot. The governor told reporters he planned to meet this afternoon with Amazon officials, but he didn't offer any more details. He met this morning with Port Covington developers and met the chairman of Goldman Sachs yesterday. Now, Amazon wants the proposals in by mid-October and a decision is expected six months later. Reporting live from the studio, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.